Guess who broke their paramotor? Alright, so you probably know my whole mantra on the channel of anything I screw up, I'll show you. Um, I didn't have a camera on, I wasn't planning on recording the very small hop uh, when I broke this. Recently I took this out to my local field to let a guy that I was teaching to kite feel the weight of the motor that he was going to get, it's a PAP Atom 80, and this was the closest thing I had to it. Uh, after I got it out, put it together, let him, you know, just feel the weight on his back kite with it a few times, I figured, well, I might as well fly the thing. Uh, so I went to start it, and nothing. If you're a Chevy fan, you know this one, 4L60E, PNNNNN. See, basically what had happened was the main drive gear that's attached to the back of the engine still spins with the starter motor, I'm gonna press the button. You may or may not be able to see that right there. It's spinning, I promise. The catch is, it's no longer turning the propeller, obviously. Um, right in here, right in there, is uh, a one-way bearing. Uh, it's very similar to how RC cars feel and work when you engage their starter. So I'm going to assume it's a one-way bearing, and we're going to take this off, verify that, put a new one on, and fix the thing. First things first, the carburetor. Um, not only is the fuel line kind of a pain in the butt, but the actual throttle cable over on this side uh, isn't really made to be easily replaced. So I'm going to leave both of those attached, which means I'm going to take the carb off the engine. I happen to have a small bungee, wrap the carb in a towel, and we're just gonna let it sit there. Then we're gonna take off our spark plug wire. I don't think I'll be able to free the starter, but uh, I'll cut the zip ties for it at least, and undo the four main bolts that actually hold the engine onto the frame. I'm going to go ahead and cut the sensor wire at least. Uh, that's the more fragile of the two. Cut that zip tie. Cut the other zip tie. And unplug it. Okay, let's try undoing these four that hold this starter plate to the engine. Aha! Okay, interesting. So I'm figuring this out as, as soon as you are. This whole back plate, of course, is an addition onto the DLE engine for the paramotor specific version. This gear houses the one-way bearing inside of it. That's it right there. And then it's got this little fork that keeps the gear from sliding out. So you don't have to take off the pinning gear off of the starter motor, right? So that can stay on there. You do have to get to these three bolts to get this fork off so that the whole gear can come out because the one-way bearing is attached to the gear. So here's the problem. The Spur gear, as I'll call it in RC car terms, uh, has the one-way bearing press fit into it. Doesn't look like this whole thing comes apart. The back of the engine has this large, it looks like, I can't tell. It's either a nut with a polished shaft behind it or that's all one piece. Either way, this is directly connected to the engine. You see as I slightly move the propeller, that moves. 
and the one way bearing is supposed to engage when it's being spun one way and then spin freely when spun the other. So effectively, as long as the starter motor is spinning faster than the engine's RPMs, this is supposed to be locked onto that shaft. And, well, frankly, it's not. So that's uh, one downfall of this style. Getting to that bearing is a pretty big pain in the butt. Uh, it's effectively the same as starter poles wearing out on like a most 185, but since that's the only way we've got to start, we're obviously stuck deep. So this bearing is uh, an NSK. They make a lot of RC car bearings too. Uh, Fox Trot Charlie Bravo 20, and it's telling me the locking direction is in this direction. So that should engage, that should release. Well, crap. So the bearing inside of here is fixed. Problem is I didn't do anything. Um, I actually went to pack paper towels in the bottom of it. It's a trick I learned working on cars. You pack paper towels in there and then push with uh, usually something like an extension or a screwdriver to shove the paper towels under the bearing to pull the bearing out. I wasn't able to do that, but then just for fun, slid it back on the engine and hey, guess what? It's working again. Couldn't tell you why, um, other than oil. It's got really good compression. Yeah, so I do see this a little bit on RC cars where the one-way bearing gets saturated with oil and just slips. Um, I'm still going to order another one to have on hand, but for now it's working, so we're going to reassemble it. I'm also going to look into upgrading this. Apparently they made more of an automotive style starter, uh, where it actually has a, a solenoid that shoots the starter out, spins it, and the gear's always engaged, so there's no one-way bearing to fail. Anyways, we'll put it back together and make sure it works at least. Well, there you go, guys. If you experience the same problem, it might just be a slipping one-way bearing instead of a completely new one-way bearing. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. You can see where this thing actually flies. It's pretty impressive. Thanks for coming. See you later.